Hey, welcome to my jungle. Halloween is over now that everything is back in the house. Now I have a few minutes to, to show you how I did put together my favorite project of all, the flying ghost. So what is Halloween without ghosts? And I endeavor to make the most realistic flying ghost ever. So this year was pretty, pretty good. Um, ghosts were painted with uh, glow in the dark, uh, recharge um, at uh, several UV stations and they were hovering at uh, 15 to 30 feet in the air uh, while they were on top of people's head. Here's the same ghost during daylight. Uh, as you can see, um, there's the rope uh, uh, that goes through bike wheels uh, and uh, the ghost just hangs uh, uh, using special 3D printed um, hangers and uh, it goes uh, through the circuit that is roughly uh, 400 meters or 1200 feet. Uh. So the main difficulty of doing a uh, flying ghost is uh, that the system is going to fall to the ground all the time, um, especially if it touches the side of the rim. So the way to improve that is to have a support that will hold the line in place just before the entry in the wheel. So the purpose of this block is to counter the gravitational pull of the ghost on the line uh, and make sure that the entry is uh, really center in the wheel. I found on the other hand that the exit point doesn't really matter if it's not supported. So this is where the magic comes from. Uh, um, it's actually a wheel support uh, um, and it has a guiding mechanism uh, to guide uh, the rope uh, in the wheel. Uh, but most importantly, uh, it will allow the props to come in uh, and not bring the line down so that it's going to touch the rim. So one feature that I have uh, for this uh, line support uh, is a little wheel uh, that I can turn uh, and I can adjust uh, the entry angle of this bracket uh, uh, to make sure that this bracket is perpendicular to gravity. Uh, it enters the wheel and then it goes down. So with uh, this mechanism, I've got plenty of, um, of adjustment. Uh, so I can put the wheel like this. Uh, and once I'm done, I've got a little locking mechanism that I push uh, and then it's gonna stay in that orientation. So one of the part I wanted to show you is this elbow, uh, which has uh, 36 teeth on each side. Uh, uh, and there's a uh, mating coupling. Uh, so this is a uh, wheel support. Uh, so you just assemble that together, uh, put a screw, uh, and then uh, once everything is up in the air, you can fine tune everything uh, by 10 degrees increment uh, to adjust for the tilt, the rotation. Uh, and if you were to put two of these elbows, uh, then we would have access to three degrees of freedom to position our wheel. So another little innovation is uh, the way that you're gonna hang your ghost uh, on the line. Uh. So you have to remember the line's gonna twist over time. Uh, so you cannot attach it rigidly to the line. Uh. So I've got a little attachment uh, that I pass the line um, inside it in the hole. Uh, and then I just put a bit of tape in the front and the back so that it won't slide on the line. Uh. So this was one of my first generation. Uh, so it would go in, uh, pivot, uh, and then go out. The problem with this, uh, it creates pressures on the rim and sometimes your line's gonna fall out. Uh. To um, remove some of the problems that I had with uh, a straight line like this, uh, I started using more of a C shape. Uh. So the C shape is quite interesting because it allows the not only the ghost uh, to stay on the line, uh, but as uh, the ghost gonna come in, uh, the line's gonna always follow the inside of the rim without ever touching the sides. Uh. Therefore, uh, fall of problems are much less of an issue. So I decided to upgrade this uh, to a newer generation that is much bigger this year. Uh, um, so this way I've got all the clearance that I needed uh, to clear for, clear for my uh, variable angle support line uh, uh, that was guiding the entry of the line before the wheel. So this has been a great improvement uh, to make sure that I would have much more reliability. So if you ever want to do flying ghost, uh, I would say that um, perseverance is really key in this project. Uh, 
Um, there's a certain amount of builds that you're going to have to do with wood, especially for the different uh, support that you're going to put on trees. Uh, but overall, what is really difficult about this project uh, is uh, ways to eliminate all the wobbling, uh, make sure that all the angles are uh, set up properly. For me, it's been five years. Uh, I've learned a lot through this project. Uh, uh, I thought it would be uh, like a shoe super easy, uh, but uh, it's really not. Uh, with a bit of improvement, a bit of uh, 3D printing to uh, have uh, the pieces that are required to make sure that everything is like uh, at the right place at the right time, then eventually you just nail it. You just make it so perfect that it's uh, almost believable ghost that flies over people's head. Huh? So I hope you guys appreciated this uh, video. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me a line. Uh, um, otherwise, I wish you good luck in your flying ghost and uh, hopefully your project will bring some sparkles in um, the kids' eyes for next Halloween in your neighborhood. Bye.